In today's video I'm going to show you how to cook bread in a tandoor. So you can have a quick look. Look at those nicely cooking and actually they're starting to get overcooked. Let's take them out. Um, and here we are. As in, oh, pop that out quite nicely. And there we go. A nice, nice loaf in the, the tandoor. Let's just get the other ones out before they over, overcook. My butter. Hot pots. And uh, the last one. So let's just quickly try some of this bread. Oh, oh it's hot. Wow, look at that. Let's try that with a bit of butter. Oh, good. That's very good. So, bread and flour pots. If you want to see how I made it, carry on watching the video. If you want to know more about the Tandoor, check the link. And if you want to see any more of my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, if you want to see me making this and how it happened, watch the rest of the video. So before we can make our bread in the pots, we've got to season them. I've already seasoned these pots uh, twice. we we'll just do it one more time. I'll show you what you need to do for that. All you need to do is uh, put a a little bit of oil, oops, oh, too much in here now. I'm just come over here, Anthony, and just, I'll just show you. Literally, just put this oil in, rub it around the pot. As I said, we've already, we've already done it twice already, and you can see it's a darker color compared to, you know, the outside of the pot. Just quickly finish this off, do it around the edge. So it's all nicely seasoned. So I pour too much in there, so I pour the rest into the next pot. And then all we're going to do is just put the pot in the oven. And just show that. And that's it. And let that heat up, get up to the right temperature, and I'll let it cool down. And then I'll be able to start baking the bread in it. Now I'll now do this for the other two pots. And that's how you season the, the pots ready for cooking. For the dough, mix together 225 grams of strong wholemeal flour, 5 grams of dried yeast, half teaspoon of salt, 235 millimeters of water, and a good teaspoon of honey. Once mixed together, put out and start uh, kneading, kneading. This should take about 10 minutes and quite a clean job. It doesn't look too messy. Once complete, put your dough in a bowl. We've only made a small amount of dough because we just want to do two uh, flour pots. Now all we need to do is uh, cover it with a cling film and put it somewhere warm to rise for about, uh, about an hour. The bread has been rising now for about an hour, so it's a good time to uh, light the tandoor. As you can see now, put the bricks in, not too many because I don't want it to be too hot. Uh, also, you'll notice that uh, we've got, I've got a grid on there now, so that hooks on round the, the rim and I'll be cooking on that. As you can see, the dough is nicely risen. What we're going to do now is knock it back and we're going to mix in some seeds, some sunflower, pumpkin and uh, sesame seeds. Finally, we're going to cut the dough in half and put a, a piece in each of the pots, a few more seeds on top, and then we'll uh, put those in the airing cupboard or somewhere warm again to, to rise. So that's how they look now. And this is how they look after 40 odd minutes. Now ready to put in the oven. So there's our bread in the oven. Just quickly go to the gauge. It's dropped down rapidly, rapidly now since so it's taken out, but this temperature gauge was showing just over 600 uh, uh, focus. I know you can't think. It was showing just over 600 uh, Fahrenheit. So it was at uh, 320 Celsius, which it was. So there we go. I'll put the temperature gauge back in, put the lid on, and I think I'll leave that for about 20 minutes and then hopefully we should have some lovely bread. Let's see how these uh, how this bread looks. Wow. Mm. How do I know if it's cooked? When you took it out, 
should be hollow, the sound. Oh, I can't tip it out. Okay, bought the bread inside now, and let's face it, that was a bit of a failure. The bread looks nice until you try and get out the pot. And as you can see, that's a classic example where you don't grease oil the pot. Um, the bread is okay, just doesn't have that wow factor. So the first attempt didn't work, so let's have another go and do a better way of um, the pot. The last time when we cooked the bread, it didn't work because the bread didn't come out of the pot. So this time I'm trying three different ways. One, one with uh, grease proof paper, one with just butter around the pot, and another one with uh, tin foil. So let me just put them in. So I take the temperature gauge, if you can see that showing it, whoops, just under 400 Celsius. Right, let's just quickly put these bread in. I'm doing a three loaves today because there's three of us for dinner. So we'll have this with hot soup. So I'll leave that in there for 20 minutes and then come back and have our um, bread. So there is the finished item. Um, but I think the best, most successful one was this one here, which was just literally a bit of butter around the pot. And um, looking lovely, oh yeah. Well, we've got some hot soup, so we're now gonna have uh, hot bread and hot soup and some cheese.